I'm going to be getting a cut and color and I'm so excited because it's been over a year at this point. I got highlights. They've grown out so nicely. I haven't cut my hair. I haven't touched my own hair, which I'm so proud of myself because usually by this time in the summer, I get impatient and I cut my own hair and I'm like, no, I want to grow it out. So I'm like, I'm waiting for Rona. So I put my hair in this like little low bun. It's detangled, nice and prepped for Rona so that she doesn't have to struggle and like detangle my hair. So anytime you go to a salon, try to detangle it, you know, to just kind of ease the process for the stylist and for yourself. So that's what I always do. And yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along with me on this process. I Look at my results. This is my hairstylist, Ona. Ona, just give them a quick run through. So I used three different tones. I used lightener with tone. Um, I went in and I did one, two, four parts. Developer got this result. We did not use a glaze this time. She wanted to stay bright and airy, so I went in with lightener with tone. And then what I did was I used Mizani, I used the pudding, and I used the coiling jelly. So this was step one, right? This mm -hmm. is the one you used first? Step one. And then I shingled it. She loves the shingling method, so I went in and I brushed it in. So she wanted to maintain length this time and add a little bit of movement in the interior part of the hair. So I decided to go with a technique where I picked it out and I exposed her natural shape. And I went in and then just dusted it. Dusted the ends, shaped the, the outer perimeter line, and here we are. When you color your hair, I always tell my clients it's not a suggestion. This is a strong recommendation. When you color your hair, you need to use color treated shampoos and color treated conditioners. There is a reason for that. It protects the color of the hair, it protects fadage, it protects against damage, right? From free radicals and all kinds of stuff. Your hair is treated and one must treat it differently. So after color, always shampoo conditioner should be color treated to protect what you just spent a lot of money on right when you go to a salon and you want to maintain the health and what you just did to the hair i will put all of ona's information in the description box follow her so you guys can see her amazing work look at my hair you guys i love it i love it i love it how do you like it it's very nice you like Steve? she kills it per usual Good 
a morning friends hi guys it is officially the next day and i was recording this portion and the camera microphone wasn't working and the problem is that i didn't have it plugged in all the way so i'm glad i rewatched the footage to make sure before like vlogging the rest of the day and then i'll have the same issue from yesterday yesterday i was filming and you guys didn't hear anything but it's the next day i washed my hair last night you guys and it feels so much softer like so much better so i got home i deep conditioned my hair with a curls blueberry bliss reparative hair mask an old school mask love it so good i let that sit in my hair for hours like i got home maybe like four o'clock ish and then i rinsed it off at like 11 30 at night style my hair and this is what it looks like and you guys would not believe what product i use i literally just use one product in my hair boom the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner is the only thing that's in my hair right now this is the first time that i get such defined curls with mixed chicks leave-in conditioner and what i did differently is that usually when i style my hair with the leave-in conditioner way back when my hair would be soaking wet and i never did my little like damp hair method like styling my hair on damp hair with the leave-in and it works so much more better i even had like a little cast so i did use the aussie miracle curls curl defining oil to break it up you guys know i love this swear by it so i use that to just break up the cast but you guys i mean would you believe me if i told you that i literally only used one product in my my hair my hair is defined my hair is extremely moisturized extremely soft and it was the mixed jigs i'm so glad i have the big one because i've been i went through a season where i fell back in love with it and i found it and it works really really well so that is what's in my hair today i did diffuse my curls that's why they look probably a little shorter i always get asked if i finger coil my hair and the answer is no i don't got time to style my hair like in finger coils i used to when i was first transitioning to kind of help blend the damaged pieces with like my healthier pieces but now I don't do that anymore but what I do do is every time I deep condition which is at least once a week I do do like the chunky finger coils in sections and let that sit on my hair so maybe that's why my hair kind of always seems like it's defined or it looks finger coil because when I deep condition I do always finger curls some people deep condition in twists some people deep condition in braids and I just deep condition in finger coils because I feel like it's easier it just helps keep my hair nice and defined that's the look that I like and it just makes it easier for me to style my hair so that is what I did. Today is, what's today? Oh my God. Today's Tuesday and um, I got to do some skincare. I'm going to be running some errands today. I should have picked up the dog's food yesterday. Totally forgot about that. So I'm going to be getting that. Of course, I'm using a Nivea cream. I already did my, what is it called? My serum in the bathroom. Let me just pin my hair up so that it's not in my face the shrinkage is so real today but i kind of like it it's giving youthful i feel like it feels like i i don't know it makes me feel youthful i am not doing makeup today today is not gonna be a makeup day for me because when i come back i have a lot of like cleaning to do it's really one room the back room we have like a little project going on you guys know I, i'm always up to something when it comes to the house and so we have a little project going on in the back room that i'm going to be working on later on tonight but i have to like clean the room like my closet isn't there so i have like clothes i need to get washed and stuff like that so i need to clean that up so i'm not really gonna do any makeup today i'm not even feeling makeup so so yeah so we're gonna go get the dog's food i'm, I'm gonna go get a breakfast bagel been wanting one for some time eucerin spf 50 love this so good i use this one and the lower per se i can never say that i already made my coffee like you guys saw i had some starbucks yesterday and starbucks just like i have to be in the mood for it sometimes it just doesn't hit the spot you know like my homemade coffee does but i didn't make coffee yesterday because my ice machine broke and I returned it because it literally was like two weeks and it gave out it just stopped making ice it was saying that i needed to add water even though it was already full of water so i returned it and I, instead of getting that one i got one off amazon that had like over six thousand reviews it was a little bit more pricier it was 130 versus the 100 dollar one that i bought from best buy so it was a little bit more pricier but the reviews were great a lot of people said it lasts a long time it didn't break down blah 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 so we'll see because the other one literally lasted me two weeks and i'm so happy that i was within the time frame of returning otherwise i would have been stuck with a machine that doesn't work and doesn't make ice and it was brand new so i was able to make my iced coffee today and it was delicious it hit the spot so i'm gonna get that and then last but not least i need new shower curtains you need to be on top of your shower curtains at least at least me let me talk about myself i need to be on top of my shower curtain because or everybody i'm pretty sure everybody washes their hair because when you wash your hair and like the bottom part the like plasticky part 
product buildup, it looks disgusting and I'm one to just, I know you can throw it in the wash, but that plastic thing, I don't think you can throw it in the wash. So I always just rebuy the new ones. You can wash your shower curtain, but I am in desperate need of a new one. It's been a while since I've changed it and it looks really bad. Very embarrassing. I don't like how it looks. So I'm going to throw that one away and get a new one from Home Goods or like Marshalls and stuff like that. So I'll go there. I'll get a little T-O-Y for the dogs. If I say they're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll get one of those for them so they can play while I do what I got to do here. I got some emails that I need to do. I looked through some this morning already and then I just have to edit a video so that I can post it for you guys. This always just feels so good. Should we do glasses today? I've been kind of feeling... Oh, I need to clean these. Mm -hmm, no, I'll do sunglasses. Also, last night I created a little nail station. I'm gonna show you guys when I get back because it's already getting pretty late. I'm talking too much, taking too much time getting ready, but created a little nail station and we got new dining chairs because the other ones that I got, it was just, it was just not good quality. It wasn't good. It didn't last that long. It just didn't look good. So my mom actually gifted us new dining chairs and I'm so grateful. So thank you, mom, if you're watching. You guys, so I'll be showing you guys what those dining chairs look like. They're so stinking cute and actually a little different from what I would normally pick. So you'll see. Ooh. It is hot. Oh my God. Is my victory. Guys, apparently this restock is such a big deal. They have me on a line for checkout. These are the two colors that I'm getting, Driftwood and Coal. Y'all, I'm on a line on all my website to check out. This is crazy. my earrings guys i'm so proud and it's 106 now i got these two little snacks from marshall's this one is pistachio toffee it is so good if you see it and you like pistachio and chocolate grab it it is so delicious and then classic dark chocolate covered almonds haven't had these in a while i usually used to get them in like bj's and stuff but i abused them for a long time so i stopped and so I got it from Marshall's, a smaller pack, so that I can actually have some self-control, you know. But I'm done with my errands. I can go home now. Probably going to edit for an hour or so. And then I will get into cleaning. Look at how delicious. Mm. I also want to do my nails so bad, but I know that if I'm going to do a lot of cleaning, I might as well wait until I'm done. But maybe you guys can help me pick my next set. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But maybe you guys can help me pick my next set. I'm going to show you guys my nail station and we'll end the vlog. You guys, I am so tired. I could go for a good hour nap right now. I know I shouldn't because I have so much to do and I want to do my nails. They're looking pretty crusty, dusty, and I kind of want to redo them, but I literally have no energy. Anytime I wake up like super early, I crash in the middle of the day. I'm about to make another iced coffee. I'm about to do that. These are so cute. Look at this one. I gave them this little like interactive toy situation. It was their first time playing with it and it took them a while as you guys saw to figure it out. But it's so cute little like cute bones. Remind me of like donuts. Little, like donuts shaped in the form of bones. Milo, can I see yours? Come. Milo, come. Mio grabs all three of them if he could. It's three of them that were in the little bag. And he would grab all three of them. Look at the last one. Let me see. Come. Come. This one is a little pink one. So stinking cute. Okay, guys, so it is the next day, and I'm gonna be doing my nails now, and this is my nail station, guys. This is what I came up with. I am filming it for TikTok, so here we are. I will definitely be, you guys can see it better here. 
I will definitely be um, incorporating like a little bit of clips here so you guys can see. This is the setup. I got Grey's Anatomy in the back. I got my candle, my water. I'm about to soak these nails off. They have to go. I'm going to be doing these because I have a wedding in two days. And the dress that I'm wearing is a very similar color, like a nice hunter green. Super duper cute. So I'm going to do those. And this is my nail setup, guys. Very simple. But it has a lot of like my essentials, my necessities. I got this mat off Amazon. I'll link most of the things down below. I got it on Amazon so that I don't dirty and damage my actual jazz. And then I have here my alcohol that I will be using. Not my alcohol, my acetone that I'll be using to soak this off. I just use these little foils. I dab it and then I put it on my nails. Um, but I like to fall off the top layer first so that it can soak off much easier. So. I'll include a little bit of the clips in here so you guys can see that process and yeah I want to test out this setup to see how it does and then here's my little light it's really cool it's a cute little light because it has different settings um just depends on color I want for my setup my it's officially time for a new set. I'm going with this hunter green so that it can match the dress that I'll be wearing this Saturday. I'm going to go ahead, size my press on nails, make sure I remove the shiny part from the inside so that they can adhere it better. I'm doing the gel X method. So I'm using gel glue to hold my nails in place and I'm going to go ahead, flash cure that and then put it under the lime for 60 seconds so it can fully cure. I'm going to go ahead and file each nail. I can get rid of any gel buildup and just to reshape the nail. I'm using a base gel coat and the acrylic powder and this is the clear one just to harden my nail it can last much longer and it won't crack and this is what it looks like i do this twice and i cure them both under 60 seconds and now is where the magic happens this step right here makes my press on nails look very very natural once i do that i go ahead and buff and then all i gotta do is add my top coat cure for 60 seconds some cuticle oils and these are the final results looks like i got it done in the salon